Okay, so once again, here I am doing a video with my hair and comb, still in my gym clothes from this morning because it's been a long day already. I think it's like 4.30 in the afternoon. We went to the gym, my daughter and I. Um, we came home, set up our middle room for a new foster cat because someone I know at work um, has been helping a foster uh, feral cat. Uh, that was really too tame to be feral, but had spent most of it, probably all of its life on the streets. But anyway, it wasn't getting along with her cats, and she's gone through cancer treatment, and they have a rather small apartment, so um, I told her that our organization would help find it a good home. But I actually have the phone. My lips look purple on the sliding. Um, I have the phone on cinematic mode, so we are going to do my hungry room unboxing. So... Usually these come in the morning, and so it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. This is in transit like for 24 hours. It's still fairly cold. Um, <laughs> so normal people go online and buy things like sweatshirts and order movies. Or, I don't know, shoes. What do people do in the middle of the night when they order? I went on to my Hungry Route, and I meant to check off recipes that sounded interesting so I could go back and try to buy the parts of the groceries I didn't have at home to mimic the meals. And I accidentally ordered four recipes and all of these groceries. So this is $130 worth of Hungry Root, which is way outside of my normal budget, but hey, at least it's food, right? So, let's see how cold the food is out there for it. It's not cold at all, really. It's a little cold. It's okay. We have Andrew and Everett Sharp Cheddar Cheese Hormone Free. We have two containers of guacamole because I ordered one and then one of the recipes required one. We have spinach artichoke, which my daughter really likes. This is their nut-based spinach artichoke, so it is vegan. Um, and my daughter's probably going to be like, Mom, we just finished the last one. I'm kind of sick of it. But that is also needed for a recipe. I think the cauliflower burger, the cauliflower bun burger. Oh, this must be our free protein. We got the pork panitas again. I think we had these ones before. Okay, cinematic mode definitely is having trouble with this box. So you just heat it up in the skillet. Um, turkey meatballs. Lemongrass tofu nuggets, that's for one of the meals. These are the vegetable and beef blended patties for the burgers. Let's see, made with grass fed beef, gluten free organic beef, organic mushroom, brown rice, black quinoa, kale, onion, blah, 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 blah. Does all those additions, one burger has 540 calories. Oh, wait. Number serving. Serving size one package. But then there better be another package in here. Alright, well, we'll deal with that in a minute. So this is 540 calories. 31 grams of protein, though. That's really high. 3 milligrams, micrograms of uh, iron. 10% of, 15% of your day, day we have allowance. Potassium. So I don't see any like vegetable protein, like vegetable um, nutrients in there. Why else would you blend? All right. So these are the cauliflower thins. They're supposed to be the bread for the burgers. So this whole plastic bag whole paper bag here. All right, so I'm going to move this paper bag for a second so we can look what's in the pot. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. Okay, so we got whole eggs, pasture-raised. I think I read online that this is the equivalent of nine eggs. Three tablespoons is a medium egg. One quarter cup is a large egg equivalent. And so it says not yet. So this is the equivalent of nine eggs. I thought I might be more prone to actually eat eggs, egg protein, if, well, once I saw this, I thought that, 
but originally um, they had an egg sandwich on a bagel and I thought, wow, I'd really like to try their organic power bagels, but instead I accidentally got the whole recipe that included the eggs and stuff. So these are plain bagels with eight grams of protein, only 200 calories, which isn't bad, and they have all sorts of nutrients in them. So they're definitely fortified with something high in salt. Yes, they have folate, vitamin B6, magnesium, zinc, selenium, manganese, potassium, calcium. That's what the power bagels. And I really like these. Like these little, yeah. These sandwich thins, these sandwich buns are really tasty. Seven grams of protein, 180 calories. Um, and they just, they, they, dog, what are you doing? They seem to travel well, um, whether you have like a meat sandwich, like cold cuts, cold cuts, or like a burger or whatever, like just in day versatile. That's what I'm looking for. Potato samosas with chutney. And then we have sliced salmon, which is actually for avocado toast. So the guacamole and the bagels and the salmon all go together to make the toast. So I'm going to put all this back in the box. It's going to be easier to carry out to the kitchen that way. So it looks like those are proteins and our breads. Is in this big bag. Oh, my golden keys. I love golden keys. This is classic Alfredo sauce, which I also got for. See, again, the, uh, the cinematic mode doesn't like it. If I put up here with my face, you'll see, see it's like I did. Uh, rainbow veggie mix, which is probably for my meal with the tofu nuggets. Dal, no, the dal, the vegetables, yeah, the dal, the vegetables, and the tofu nuggets are one meal. Hey, it's this big bag, this is a big bag of wings. Hey, it is just, I think this is spinach. I don't know it's spinach, but I think it's just a big bag of spinach. And the question is, does that come with one of the recipes? Because why can't I look at that bag of spinach? I don't know. Let's see. So the recipes are deli style egg and cheese bagel. Um, I thought they were supposed to be sliced cheese. Nope, it's sprinkle cheese. Um, oh, it's spinach. Okay, so the spinach is supposed to go on the burgers. I don't think that the spinach is just the burger. And there isn't another set of burgers, so there's gotta be two. Two burgers in there. All right, so there you go.